Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to Sound Explained DC Offset. And in this video, I'm just going to be quickly showing you what exactly DC Offset is. So I have two sounds here. One of them has DC Offset, and the other does not. Here is the version without the DC Offset. You can see on the oscilloscope that the amplitude values for this waveform fluctuate above and below this center line, and that center line represents an amplitude of zero. Now when we have DC offset, something a little bit interesting happens. You can see that instead of the waveform fluctuating around that center line, it's kind of way up over here. And it doesn't have to always be above zero, it could also be below zero. And when this happens, you'll also notice on the spectrum that you have a big presence down in the lowest frequencies. And essentially what that is, is some noise presence at zero hertz. And if you look at the peak meter between these two sounds, you'll see that the original sound is peaking at about minus 14 decibels. But the DC offset version, while it still sounds the same volume, it's peaking much higher, all the way up at about minus five decibels. And you can see that's just because the entire waveform is offset by a certain amplitude value. There are a lot of different things that can cause DC offset, such as certain kinds of distortion effects, an imperfect recording setup, or even just certain waveform settings in your synthesizer. In the digital audio workstation, you have a number of ways to correct DC offset. And that's what I will be going into in a different video in this section of the tutorial.